tesla.com. Are you here to learn more about Tesla's continuous success? You're in luck because tech analyst and investor Dave Lee gives his thoughts on the company's most recent earnings report in this video, as well as the reasons he thinks Tesla is only beginning to innovate for the better in the world. Tesla investors who, in spite of obstacles and competition from conventional automakers, will ultimately turn a sizable profit now that you're ready to learn more about what makes Tesla a game changer in the world of electric vehicles. Let me ask those of you who aren't already subscribed to World Street Games to hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to smash that notification, grand bell, and that like button as well. Let's get started. Tesla's Q4 results exceeded expectations, impressing many analysts and investors. According to Dave Lee, Tesla is only beginning to use innovation to become the most sophisticated company in the world. Uh, if you frequently watch this channel, you're probably already aware that an investor was taken aback when they learned that as of March 2023, their investment had increased by a factor of 100 simply by owning common shares of Tesla. Uh, over 1.14 million people subscribe to Dave Lee's YouTube channel. Yet, regarding the uh, validity of his analysis may differ amongst uh, individuals. The planned gigafactory in Mexico has a different purpose than first thought, according to independent tech analyst Dave Lee. He claims that the factory is intended to cater to a new market in Mexico, Central America, and South America that requires a more affordable vehicle than the current Model 3 and Y. Um, in his opinion, this move combines a new price point for Tesla with new geographical directions. Lee is an industry expert who bases his opinions and insights on his extensive research and knowledge of the industry. Uh, this is one of many of Dave Lee's original takes and insights. So let's hear what uh, he has to say. Lee predicts that. Uh, the factory and the new vehicle will likely coincide within the next 18 to 24 months. However, after reviewing technical discussions, the idea that the 25,000 vehicle will only be available in Mexico, Central America, and South America seems unlikely. During Tesla's recent Master Plan 3 investor presentation, the company revealed some excellent results for last quarter. Though some were uncomfortable and missed the significance of the information provided because they were likely looking for a glimpse of a cheap car Others noticed that there was a lot of noise from the company. Nevertheless, important topics like the upcoming release of the Cybertruck, the company's efforts to scale up and reduce manufacturing costs, and the announcement of a new Gigafactory in Mexico were discussed. After the presentation, the share price dropped by 5.9% at first, but it quickly recovered and has since traded below $195, possibly offering some investors a buying opportunity. Uh, in general, it's wise to ignore the noise and pay close attention to reality, bearing in mind that the shares were acquired at a significant discount to current prices. According to Lee, uh, company's revenue limitations directly affect the value of its shares, which is why Tesla's most recent quarter's results fell short of forecasts, right? While the Shanghai Gigafactory, which produced more than half of the company's cars last year, was closed for several weeks due to electrical issues. Credit Suze claims that on March 28 of last year, Tesla's gigashing high factory was closed due to increased national efforts to stop the pandemic and rise in the number of reported cases in China. Despite this, we're still optimistic because Tesla's management uh, appears to have things under control. The gigafactory is idle right now, possibly because some harm. Per Tesla, 1.45 million units are anticipated to be supplied this year overall with deliveries in the current quarter estimated to be roughly equal to those in the first three months of the year. Uh, according to Lee, in order for Tesla to continue turning a profit each quarter, the business needs to both deliver more cars than investors anticipate and generate more revenue than they anticipated. Dave Lee's prediction that by 2030, Tesla will perform better. In addition to Credit Suits, we also have insights from Morn Capital, a venture capital fund co-founded by Roy Bachat, the former head of Bloomberg Beta, and Jeff Lawson, the CEO of Twilio. The firm invests in businesses that employ technology to address significant issues with a focus on the future of work. Examples of firms in which the firm has invested are Figma Concept and Guild Education. The founders' experiences in technology and entrepreneurship provide them with a lot of experience that they apply to spotting promising firms and fostering their expansion. And in its Q1 2022 investor letter, Capital stated that it believes Tesla would recover at least 10 times its initial investment by 2030. Uh, since the company's largest holding has been performing well lately, 
Uh, it plans to raise Tesla holdings in the first quarter in the hopes that investor interest in the company stock will outperform that of the SP 500. Additionally, Gary Black has made some intriguing forecasts regarding the brand's future. For instance, he believes its market worth should be $4 trillion. Based on Black's prediction that electric cars will be in 60% of cars worldwide by 2030, Tesla's market capitalization would approach $4 trillion if all 1.4 billion shares were in circulation. The company is currently valued at $1.9 trillion if each share earns $100 by the end of the decade. Tesla will produce about 10 million cars annually and 85 million light vehicles will be sold worldwide. But Black believes that things could get worse before they get better at the start of this year. Following its low of $108 in early January, the price of Tesla stock has fluctuated significantly. There are a number of factors that can cause the price of Tesla stock to rise or fall, including investor sentiment, market trends, company news, and overall economic conditions. When the stock price approaches or crosses the $1,000 mark, it may trigger buying or selling activity. Additionally, some investors may be taking profits or selling shares at this price, which can cause volatility in the stock's price. The $1,000 mark is thought to be a significant psychological level for the stock. The recent declines in Apple and Microsoft stock prices that investors are growing less interested in high-tech companies. Concerns have been raised in China about the number of shutdowns that appear to have no connection to one another, but Kathy Wood doesn't seem to care about any of this hard company. It's important to note that stock prices can be unpredictable and can fluctuate frequently. So it is difficult to determine a single reason why Tesla's price has been constantly moving around. Prior to 2026, the company estimated that each share of Tesla stock would be worth $1,000. An earlier article stated that the bull case predicted the price would be $1,667 by 2026 in the bear case, that it would be $966, which is still uh, six times the current price. ARK Invest recently announced that a share of Tesla stock would be worth $1,533 by 2026. Dave Lee has repeatedly stated that he intends to own this stock for the long term and that he still believes Tesla will see significant growth by 2030. Kelly's Blue Book appears to support the notion that it is uh, an automotive research and valuation firm that offers data on both new and old vehicles, including Tesla. From January to March 2022, Kelly Blue Book offered a variety of valuations and rankings on Tesla vehicles, including the Model S and Model 3, which scored highly for their technology and performance design. In the U.S. electric vehicle market, Tesla held the top spot. Tesla has accounted for 75% of all electric vehicles sold in the first quarter of 2022. 68% of all electric vehicles sold in the U.S. were Model 3 and Model I Teslas. When Elon Musk's business announces plans to launch new car lines in 2023, including the eagerly anticipated Cybertruck, Roadster, and Semi vehicles, it appears poised to defend its crown. Like its other operations in Shanghai and Berlin, its new gigafactory in Mexico will give investors plenty of opportunities for speculation. Uh, tell us in the comments how much you believe the shares of Tesla will be valued in 2030. Additionally, remember to hit the subscribe button on this channel and give this video a positive rating. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.